Hello, CIC family. Hope you're staying cool during this hot weather. Good to be with you again, good to be seen. As you probably know, today a new indoor mask mandate goes into effect here in the state of Oregon uh, to help limit the spread of the Delta variant. Uh, this means that uh, starting today, uh, masks will be required uh, during our worship services on Sunday and uh, also during uh, indoor activities that are held here at the church. Uh, we're following this mask mandate for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one would be just for the, the health, the safety, the protection uh, of our church family during this pandemic as well as our community. And uh, our leadership, our staff have made uh, our health, our safety, our protection a, a top priority over the past 18 months, and we will continue to do that. Uh, a couple things that we have reason to give thanks to God for is number one is that during this pandemic, we as a church have not had an outbreak of COVID. And uh, for that, we're very, very thankful, and we pray that will continue. And the other thing is that we have not had uh, anyone die from COVID who have been a part of our church. And for that, we're very thankful. And we pray that that would continue. And so I just want to say thanks to our leadership, thanks to our staff who have made our health and safety uh, a top priority. And so that's, that's one reason why we're, we're following this mask mandate. And the second reason, of course, is our commitment uh, to submit to our governing authorities who have been established by God and put over us uh, in obedience to, to Romans chapter 13 and 1 Peter uh, chapter 2. And so in following this mandate, we are joining with other churches in Canby, in our region, in our Alliance Northwest family. Uh, we are not alone. There are many, many, many other churches uh, who are doing the same, and uh, we're thankful for those. Looking ahead to Sunday, I'm going to be preaching on Mark chapter 6, a story where the disciples are out in the sea late at night, a storm has come up, and we read there that they're straining at the oars. And uh, during this pandemic, I feel, you may feel like we're straining at the oars. And what I want to say to us today is that we are going to continue to row during this pandemic until God calms the storm. We're not going to give up. We're not going to become cynical. We're not going to become disillusioned. Uh, in this pandemic storm, we are going to keep rowing uh, until Jesus himself calms the storm. And I just want to say that God in Jesus is still alive. He's still at work. He's still building his church. He's still working in our lives here at CAC. And I just want to encourage all of us to keep our eyes upon God in Jesus, not upon the government, not upon our governor, not upon restrictions, not upon mandates, but to keep our focus upon Jesus himself because he is our promise and he is our hope. There you have it. Thanks for joining in today. Thanks for listening. Uh, we're going to move ahead with our trust and faith in God and God alone. Love you, CAC family. Bye-bye.